In this problem, I need to find all solutions to this equation in the interval 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So I need to be in degrees. And it says round to the nearest tenth of a degree. That most probably means I'm going to have to use my calculator. So let's look at the problem. The tangent of theta is 0 0.85. This is not a value on the unit circle, so yes, I'm going to have to use my calculator. And theta is going to be the inverse tangent of 0 0.85. I need to find the angle whose tangent is 0 0.85. So let me go to my calculator, turn it on, check the mode, I'm in degrees. So I need the inverse tangent of 0 0.85. Close parentheses, hit enter, and here's my answer. Round to the nearest tenth, this 6 is going to round that 3 up to a 4. So it's going to be 40.4 degrees. So I know that theta equals 40.4 degrees. Now, is that angle in this interval? Yes. Therefore, I found one of my solutions. And why did the calculator give me just this one answer? The calculator only ever gives you one answer to an inverse trig function. And the answer is defined by the limitations on the inverse trig function. And the inverse tangent says my answer, theta, has to lie between negative pi over 2 or negative 90 and positive 90. It gave me an angle of 40.4 degrees. Why did it pick quadrant 1? Because the tangent was positive. The tangent is positive in quadrant 1. It's negative in quadrant 4. So the calculator gave me a quadrant 1 angle. Now, can the tangent also be positive in another quadrant? Yes, remembering your mnemonic, all students take calculus. The tangent is positive in quadrant 1. I've already got that answer. But it's also positive in quadrant 3. So I'm going to have to find a quadrant 3 angle. And if we do it the way we've done all the other ones, we're going to do it using reference angles. So let's just draw my angle. Here's my theta. And remember, an angle in quadrant 1 is equal to its reference angle. So I know the reference angle for this angle is 40.4 degrees. Well, why did I find that? It's going to help me find my angle in quadrant 3. My angle in quadrant 3 is going to have the same reference angle. Oh, that's the terrible drawing. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to notice this is just a sketch. I want this angle here in quadrant 3. And the reference angle, theta prime, is going to be 40.4 degrees. It's exactly the same as my angle in quadrant 1. So how am I going to find my angle theta? Well, I'm going to rotate 180 degrees and add the reference angle. So theta is 180 degrees plus my reference angle of 40.4 degrees. So what's my answer in quadrant 3? It is 220.4 degrees. And how can we check that answer very quickly? All we have to do is take the tangent of that number so what is the tangent of 220.4 degrees? It should be roughly where I started at 0.85. Since I rounded my intermediate values, this will not be exactly 0 0.85, but is it close? Yes, that tells you you've done it right.